Okay guys, getting ready for the, probably gonna start earlier, seven o'clock, maybe a couple of minutes, just kind of waiting for people, people to trickle in. Uh, how you doing JD? Good to see you tonight. Got some police cover in the back. It's somebody's cover of the police. Uh, bring on the night, which is appropriate. Let's bring on the night with all this mysteries and weirdness and discuss uh, our topic of today will be the Mandela effect. So sit tight, call us. Our number, uh, the new number is area code 951 If you have any, uh, well, what are we gonna do here today? We're gonna make this very interactive. We're gonna take a quiz, all of us. We're gonna take a quiz on the Mandela effect and uh, we're gonna watch each other's brain melt as we get the results. Um, I took one earlier today and there's some things that I'm, I remember way different, you know, I don't know if it's, uh, glitches in the matrix or just weird stuff, but there's some stuff that I distinctly remember being different from what, you know, our current timeline tells me. So sit tight and we're going to discuss these things in a few minutes. Hey, John, how are you, buddy? Call me, Ben. Let me know. Why don't you get on the phone and uh, explain to us uh, the simulation hypothesis? We need some listeners live. So I appreciate it if you do that for me. That'd be very cool.
You know what that sound means? It's the intro sound to the Strange Days Live something something online call show. Transmitting live from Southern California at close to proximity 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, just wishing, wishing everybody is having a happy Friday. Kind of excited about the weekend myself. No work, even though tomorrow I gotta do a little bit of uh, work, but it's not work work, if you know what I mean. So it's a little bit more relaxing when um, you can do things at your own pace and are not expected to sort of work um, at, a, at a different pace that uh, might be a little bit too much for you. Always ask you listeners, please comment on the sound if, there's, if the music's too loud and how do I sound, which is important because we are a online listening show. So if my, my voice sounds poorly, please let me know and I would appreciate that. Thank you. Let's see what we got here. Uh, got some people already. Great. What? Awesome. Got some, got a lot of listeners and you know, Today we're going to be discussing the Mandela Effect and I have a surprise for everybody that's here and that surprise is that we're all going to take a test. Don't get scared, I'm not going to grade you and I'm not going to call your parents if you do poorly but I will call your grandma if you fail to participate. So that goes out for everybody out there that's listening that be interactive, be friendly, be cool. Alright, I know you guys are, I'm just just getting in your cases you're a very shy audience people don't like to call that's all right um again i got a new number pretty cool number i think my favorite number is 13 so i picked up this number it's area code 951 very cool easy to memorize it almost sounds as if it was one of those triple eight pay free numbers but if you have google voice uh, it shouldn't be. They shouldn't cost you a thing. So basically, you have no excuse not to call. 951-888-0313. So I've been hearing about this Mandela Effect for years. And quite honestly, I was a little bit scared by it. It psyched me out a little bit. I, I, so when it came out, I was avoiding it for a few months. Because, you know, I don't want anything to disturb me. Uh, and get me out of my reality that I cherish and that I'm thankful for. So I just, every time I saw a Mandela Effect video, I'm like, eh, eh, maybe I'll bypass. I don't know. And then one day I just, I gave it a try and it wasn't as bad. You know, it's like trying something out for the first time, right? Getting a piercing, getting a tattoo. Doesn't hurt that much. Next thing you know, you're covered head to toe with ink. Uh, I am not covered head to toe with Mandela Effect logos, although I'm sure someone out there could be, right? Or maybe you see a logo and somebody's skinning you like, hey man, that logo is wrong. That's a Mandela Effect logo. And um, they'll probably look at you weird and then keep going about their day. Anyways, um, my voice a little low. The music is good. Okay, that's I don't want. I don't want the music to be good. I enjoy the music, trust me, but I don't want my voice because that defeats the whole purpose. So I'm going to put a little bit here, uh, maybe tweak out a little bit the sounds of our lo-fi beats. I think it's just mostly for me, so I don't, I don't like uh, dead air because I don't, I don't want to feel like I always have to be quote-unquote performing for an audience. So. I go on a little quiet spells once in a while, which I think is cool. Um, how about now? How's the voice now? I got a little homemade uh, apparatus here that kind of helps to channel the voice directly into the mic. And I got a reasonable good mic. Um, 
as time goes on, I, I, I'm going to build a more professional quote-unquote studio. But for, excuse me, for the time being, you're just going to have to learn to like it. It's what I deliver. All right. So I'm trying to get more listeners from different avenues. And for the last few days, I've been hitting up some groups on... Um, I've been hitting up some groups on Facebook, just kind of posting stuff up and hopefully they trickle down. I know it's Friday, I know people have better things to do, but for the faithful few, uh, this is your Friday, right? This is what makes your Friday fun, I hope so. Um, Reddit's weird when it comes to... Reddit's very odd, man. When it, the, the moderators of Reddit just ruin the site. Um, now, I, I know that there's people that, you know, put bad stuff on, or but, but you know, the, there's people that are, like myself, that are actually um, want to do good and want to get people involved in the, you know, in the paranormal. But there's just, I don't know if you guys are Reddit users, but um, I was an avid Reddit user for a while, and unashamed, unashamed, you know what I'm going to say, unashamed, whatever, I amassed over a million uh, points or karma, and then one day I went to a forum, which was a, a medical forum, and I posted a very common question and next thing I know my whole account uh, was suspended my original account and I was ticked I mean this is an account for five years that I've spent and I contributed to it so I can my goal was to get to a million karma I got to 1.1 million um, just as a personal goal it's kind of silly people run marathons I wanted to get a million karma on on reddit so I did it um, then I started getting into these little avatars. So, so Reddit had these little, um, you know, an avatar is uh, like a cartoon, if you will, uh, that you can put in your profile picture and you can dress it up in all kinds of silly outfits or whatnot. And so I started spending money on that stuff. I mean, they're not too expensive. They're like four bucks, five bucks, you know, and then you can resell them and, um, and, and then sometimes you resell them you can make a little bit of cash you know which is not bad I mean they have uh, generations when it comes to um, when it comes to these guys to these avatars so they're in generation 4 or 5 now and some avatars that are kind of sought after from the first generation can go up to you know two thousand three thousand dollars it's a whole like nft craze that was happening a, a few a few years ago so anyways uh, i i kind of bought with an investment mentality and I, I got i got a good i got a few good ones but you know i still have access to them but my account got closed so i got very bitter not close it got uh what do they call it suspended and i got very bitter because um they said that I was evading some kind of ban, a ban, like I was banned for some reason for asking a totally normal question. And then when you try to contact the moderators, they just give you the runaround. And so if you guys want to make, um, if you guys want to make a Google, if a Reddit account, or if you already have Reddit, don't, don't invest too much to it because, uh, companies gr grow to a certain extent that they don't really care about their users anymore. Kings in point will be um, Facebook. And also, you know, websites, they, they sort of, um, like everything, they, they kind of outgrow uh, and they change, you know, like humans. I remember when I've been using Facebook since 2009, I believe. And back in the day, I mean, you, you it was interactive, people would post stuff, it would, you would get cool replies, people would be happy like to see an image, and now it's just, it's either like memes, uh, wishing somebody you haven't seen in 20 years a happy birthday, or some sketchy guy trying to sell uh, 
something in your area so it's really it's really changed for the worst um reddit reddit it's changed for the worst the only thing that's kind of remained true to itself and improved is it's it's uh it's youtube uh out of all these kind of sites i, I know twitter's I, I still use twitter or x but um it's pretty trashy you know there's once they did away with the with, with the blue marks it just kind of lost you, you don't know who to trust it's a lot of bickering and a lot of informa information like you could, could you know false information if you will and some people enjoy that they just kind of go in there and they troll or you know they just kind of go in there and um i don't know what else would you do on twitter just post nonsense i guess and then instagram it's okay if you want to keep in touch with with friends and post silly pictures how about you guys make comment what do you guys uh you guys can make some comments in my shy audience uh what do you guys use what's your go-to social media besides youtube because you're here uh, we'll see if this thing on reddit works if they kick me out i don't care anyways so back to the lecture the lecture that sounds sounds bad back to the topic at hand um thanks Ben. T thanks jd yeah um, you know I don't know when I first started doing this thing I had the mic like a mile away and it sounded fine and now it's like I have to be breathing on top of it and it's very sensitive so you know what it is one second I think I I switched the pattern I'm gonna test I'm gonna test on this is a different pattern of the mic every mic has like four or five patterns to how, how it picks up a voice uh, if you'd be kind enough uh, JD on comment on this pattern and if this pattern works, this is the pattern that we shall keep. Um, John Alvarado, I'm shy. Yes, everybody's shy, John. Um, so call, you know. Joey Bag of Donuts, hey buddy. Just saying hi to the people in the, in the chat. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, JD says the only thing he uses is YouTube. They never had Facebook. Yeah, I think kind of trashy. I I like Facebook for one reason only, and that's to go to the marketplace, so I can look at old cars and guitars. Um, yeah. So uh, um, I just switched here the the mode of the mic. If you guys can give me some feedback, let me know if it sounds better or worse, whatever. Uh, as long as you can hear me, I appreciate it. Let's see here. So uh, Mandela effect, right? Have you guys? I know you guys are shy, but you you can't be shy from typing. That's unheard of. You guys can type. Okay, cool. Thanks, JD. I'll keep the settings. Uh, you guys cannot be shy from typing. That's like I never heard. If you guys don't want to, you know, if you guys want to interact with the phone, then that's understandable. So I want you to, I want you to type stuff. Uh, have you guys heard of what the Mandela effect is? Anybody out there are familiar with the Mandela effect? All right, if you're not, I'm going to give you a brief description of what the Mandela Effect is. Basically, the Mandela Effect is a phenomenon where a group of people collectively remember an event, a fact, or a detail one way, but it turns out to be totally different from what it is recorded in historical records or widely accepted as true. Example, you and everybody in your, you look at a McDonald's logo, and now this is extreme but it's an example so this would be a mcdonald you see a mcdonald's you see two mcdonald's logo you see the m um on one logo being um yellow in the background red and then you see another mcdonald's logo and you see the m being uh peach color and the background red and you say which was the right one and you say well the peach one that's a McDonald's logo that I've always known. It's peach and red. And it turns out that the real logo is actually yellow and red. And then you ask your buddy, you go, hey, dude, what, 
what color is the McDonald's logo? And they're like, yeah, it's peach. Uh, it's a peach M in a, in a red background. And they're like, that's what I thought, but it's not. And like, no, it is. And then you go to the McDonald's website and lo and behold, yellow arches and red background. And then you and your friend uh, go to ice cream uh, together afterwards and start sobbing that their reality has changed. You have just experienced a Mandela effect. So, um, this shared false memory can be perplexing and has led some to speculate about alternate realities, time travel, or a parallel universes. However, there are psychological or cognitive explanations of the, for the Mandela effect. And that's what I add here to. I don't think we're in a parallel universe. I don't think that um, uh, CERN uh, causes us to have Mandela effect type deals. I just think that um, that it's our brain filling information. You know, a lot of times when you and I read a book, we don't read every single letter. We just kind of skim and we make out the, the word and then we just keep on reading. You know, otherwise we'll be like a four year old trying to read a book. It'll take us three years to read um, DMV manual. So I think that uh, our brain just does a lot of filling for us. Um, and there's things that, you know, we might connect rapidly and we just kind of think the way it is. And so when we are truly attentive, then we realize, hey, that's kind of weird. I, I don't remember um, that being that way. And, and the first thing that I remember um, that sort of brought up this Mandela effect was uh, the Bearstein Bears, you know, from the 80s. The Bearstein Bears are, uh, they were basically books at the beginning and um, and then they, they, they had uh, cartoons also made. So the whole thing with the, with the Mandela effect and the Bernstein Bears was the spelling of the word Bernstein, right? Uh, so the, the true spelling, the, uh, the spelling that, that I remember as a kid was like Stein, like Albert Einstein. So it will be B-E-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N, -E -E Bernstein, you know, like Albert Einstein. But then the real way that you spell, it's actually stain as like a stain on your shirt. So it's B-E-R-E-N-S-T-A-I-N. -E -E it's not E-I-N, but it's A-I-N. That's a true spelling, the stain versus stein. So, um, when I looked at this, I just kind of started doing research and it kind of threw me for a loop. I was like, that's super odd. Not only that, not only that is weird. There's some uh, YouTube videos <laughs> that actually have uh, old TV guides. For those that, that don't remember, you know, back in the Stone Age when we used to watch TV uh, and we weren't spo as spoiled. <laughs> we had to resort to uh, a TV guide, which was actually um, a book that would come on on a weekly basis and would tell you what uh, what was gonna be on any uh, on a particular channel at a particular hour. So you kind of be like, hey, I wanna watch Cheers, which was an old 80s show. And you would look at the, uh, you would open up on a Monday and see like, oh, Cheers comes up on you know ABC at 9.30 uh, p.m. Or you wanted to watch I Love Lucy and you're like, I wonder what time I Love Lucy is on and you would open up, you know, you would open up the TV guide and you would see I Love Lucy would be on like channel 7 at 1130 a.m. Um, so there's some old, uh, there's some videos there that actually they quote unquote show proof of, of this Mandela effect um, and that they have old TV guides which actually have the spelling uh, of a stain. Uh, but that could have just been a typo by somebody back in the 80s, right? Uh, the strange thing though, uh, getting back to this, you know, the strange, there's also some uh, DVDs that you can buy, uh, not DVDs, I'm sorry, VHS, which predates the DVD, uh, that you can go ahead and buy on, on eBay. And uh, actually it has the Bernstein Bears with the spelling that, that I remember as a kid. So, could somebody have faked it? Yeah, they look pretty aged though. If you go to eBay and you look for Bearstein Bears with the spelling that you think uh, was applicable, um, they look legit. 
you know they look pretty legit like one second man I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on so you guys can know what I'm talking about yeah they look pretty legit like they're like uh, real tapes but then again somebody could you know I mean could somebody go through the trouble and fake the logo and fake all the stuff sure they can would they want to do it so they can sell it for a lot of money on eBay? Sure they can. So I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to go to here. So, oh crap, I hate when it saves it under this. Let me see. Oh, it picks it up. Cool. So here it is. Uh, here is, a, 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 this is from an eBay listing of, of, of a VH, VHS tapes. And the above one, uh, the one on white, says Bernstein, S-T, uh, well, the, the, with the A, right? Stein, Stein. And the one below, um, it has the other spelling, the E spelling, Steen. Could it be because there wasn't any auto, there wasn't any like autocorrect software when they printed the logos, and people just kind of went by their own whim how they, you know, how things sounded. So they, oh no, it's. You're working at a factory for making VHSs and you're like, oh, it's spelled this way or that way. Could be also. It doesn't necessarily point to the fact that it was um, a time slip or some other alternate reality craziness. Could be, but most likely the most plausible answer is probably that it was a mistake in printing. And then here I'm going to show you guys the the picture of the what would I call this thing the TV guide so you have here the the Bernstein bears and then you have a picture of a TV guide that says Stein playing at seven o'clock in channel nine so maybe if you guys want to watch it instead of listening to me it's on right now on channel nine Anyways, that's it for the Bernstein Bears, Bernstein, Bernstein Bears. So that's an example of the Mandela Effect, which I find it fascinating. All right, so um, let me go to the, just let me go to the chat real quick. Visit the chat every once in a while. All right, so uh, Tim, my friend Tim from Wacky Wisdom Network is here. Uh, he says he has a good story and I'm very familiar with the Mandela or Quantum Effect. Awesome. Tim, whenever you want to call, just, you know, the number is uh, 951 313 You can give us a quick update on your story. I'm sure people would love to hear. And you've been on the show before, so you know it doesn't hurt. Uh, and, um, yeah, I would appreciate it if you want to call. Uh, now, later, whatever. Um, it's Friday, so I think I'm, I'm, I'm stay on for a while today. Let's see here. So yeah, that, that's in, in a nutshell uh, what the Mandela effect is. Okay, uh, let me go on to keep reading. So what uh, some of the theories floating around uh, that, that, could, that could be um, attributed to why do we experience this phenomenon. One of them is called a false memory, okay? So one of the primary ex explanations for the Mandela effect is the concept of a false memory. So human memory is not infallible, obviously, and is susceptible to errors, including misremembering uh, events, names, dates, or details. Uh, and this can occur due to the brain's natural tendencies to fill the gaps in memory um, with plausible information or combine similar memories. So this is kind of what I talked to you that, that, that I actually believe that it's happening is that your brain just fills in stuff. Uh, and this is you know one of the reasons that uh, for example, yeah, you have, um, let's say that you, for the JFK assassination, right? You have witnesses saying one thing and then you have other witnesses saying something else. And then lo and behold, before you know it, there was like 50 shooters. Uh, it's because of that. It's because that uh, sometimes people there, they were, they misremember the event. The, the, they they kind of misremember the details. They heard a news story about somebody talking about something else and they, they might, accept it as a memory or or something like that hey, yeah i saw that too and so that's what it's um it's hard it, it, and it happens so it happens every single time there's there's uh any kind of crime the often the the the, the witnesses uh, have a hard time recollecting you know we, we're not 
recording instruments we we experience something and then we believe that it was something and then it wasn't and that makes a lot of sense right <laughs> case in point you tell your wife something and then your wife tells you, you never said that carry a recorder with you because a lot of times your wife could be right and I've caught myself fighting about something and then I remember like yeah she's right you know I didn't really say that but I fought it like I did so whenever a fight gets heated go to your trusty iPhone and start recording the argument that way when you guys reconcile you can play the beautiful tape of a beautiful fight and you see who was in the right and who was in the wrong another um, another form or another cost uh, is suggestibility and this is uh, that people can be influenced by external factors including suggestions from others or the media when multiple people are exposed to the same incorrect information it can uh, reinforce a false memory and create a shared misconception like hey do you remember that night we went out and uh, like you passed out and then you slept in the back of my dad's van it never happened but you're like yeah i remember that yeah and then you start thinking about it you're like yeah i've slept in a van before so that must have been it and then you put two or two together and then you think you have a, li a, a, a liable a, a, re a legit story which in fact you don't you just got a couple of hodgepodge uh stories and you kind of sew them all together to make sense the other uh, factor is called cultural influence. So this is when the Mandela effect uh, often involves pop culture references or, or well-known historical events. Uh, these are the types of memories that are frequently discussed and shared, making them more susceptible to collective errors. Now, the name Mandela effect, who, what's Mandela, who's Mandela? Why do people call it the Mandela effect? Because uh, if you remember, uh, Nelson Mandela was uh, a former president of South Africa. He had been, he spent a lot, uh, he spent a lot of time in jail, actually. He was jailed uh, for many, many years because I, I'm old enough to remember when, uh, you know, Free Mandela was, uh, people used to walk around in t-shirts and they used to do a protest that they wanted to free Nelson Mandela. So Nelson Mandela actually went from a uh, state prisoner uh, to the president of South uh, Africa and I th apartheid you know the whole mess I don't want, I want to really go into details but that's uh, th I think that's the way that he um, that he, he was jailed because of because of something in relation to that okay I, I don't want to no, I don't like to make up stuff I need to give you the facts so uh, Nelson Mandela was an iconic South African leader he was in prison for his role in the anti-apartheid struggle against the apartheid regime in South Africa he spent a significant portion of his life uh, behind bars due to his activism and commitment to end racial segregation and oppression think of a uh, uh, South African Martin Luther King and uh, so, yeah, so the key reasons why he was jailed, one, opposition to apartheid. He was member, a member of the ANC, which that was the African National Congress, and uh, a couple of trials also. Uh, he spent 27 years, actually, in prison. So long story short, uh, Nelson Mandela was released at some point, went on to become the president, you know, and then um, people thought that he, he had died. So people, people had said, uh, you know, uh, they would hear about Nelson Mandela being the president and be like, wait a minute, hold on a minute. Nelson Mandela, the, the guy that was jailed? Yeah, he's the president of South Africa. And be like, no, 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 you're kidding. That guy died, died in jail. So that's where the Mandela effect. Half of the people believe that he was dead. Other half of people believe that he was actually, um, that he actually, well, that he was the president, which turned out to be that he was a president for, for a while. So that's that's what the, they coined the, the the term Mandela effect. All right. Let's see what the quiet ones are. All right. So and that was the Mandela uh, coining of the of the term in a in a nutshell. All right. So 
we talked about cultural influence. Uh, confabulation is a memory disturbance where individuals unknowingly fabricate information to fill gaps in their memory. I'm getting a call here. Let's see who we have. Yes. What's up, Tim? Hello, how you doing? I'm doing well, my friend, and you? Oh, I'm doing well, man. I was just listening to you um, um, talking about uh, the Mandela, and you were in the middle of something. I didn't want to interrupt. No, I don't care. You were in the middle of uh, explaining something. This is supposed to be a All call. Right. Yeah, it's supposed well, to be a. It's supposed to be a call show. So any interruptions from an actual call are actually welcome. Go ahead. Tell me. Tell me your. You say okay. you had a story about the Mandela effect. Go ahead and uh, let me know. Well, it's not about the Mandela. I have a lot to say about the Mandela effect, but I have a really creepy story that. So, I was. All right, when I was a kid, and this has nothing to do with the Mandela effect now, okay. but th when I heard, like, I've always known this story, and then, like, I've been, I told it for very many years, and then today, I was at the table with my fa my dad, and I said, Dad, will you tell me the story about the cat? And I got the full story, like, the real story, and it's way creepier than I ever even thought. All right, man. So, Hit us. Hit I was like, it'd be perfect for this show, you know? Uh-huh. Um, so when I was a kid, I lived in Cleveland, outside of Cleveland, Ohio. It's a really, uh, um, hilly, uh, let's say like, it's right outside the city. It's, I would say like suburbs, but, uh, it turns into city, but then there's country to it. And we lived right where like it goes from country to city. Like there was like a mile and we we're in the countryside. Okay. So we had just moved over that way. And our bus stop was like the bottom of our driveway where like, it was a really busy highway road. And, um, my sister and I would have to go, you know, catch the bus at the bottom of the driveway. Well, one day we had gone to the bottom of the driveway and one of our cats had gotten uh, hit by a car. Oh, boy. And it was not a good sight. You know, I was I was probably maybe seventh grade or something, yeah, maybe eighth grade. So I was like, definitely I was not, a little bit a older. Sight. My sister was, no, right? So uh, we luckily we got the day off that day. We had a little, you know, mini funeral for whatever, whatever. So we had gotten another cat, some, uh, and, you know, it went missing. And, so, you know, my dad was coming home from work. And at this bottom of the same driveway, there was a cat. And it was, my dad said it was, he looked, it looked pretty familiar to uh, our cat. So instead of letting us, you know, find it or whatever, he got a shovel and, you know, scooped it and went and buried it in the woods gave it a little cross, said a prayer, and walked away, you know? And he said, like, you know, one or two, three days later, we're, we're sitting there eating dinner, and all of a sudden, our cat just jumps up on the window. Wait, hold on. So... Uh, are, 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 are the cat yeah. that passed away? Or yes. So, so, we're assuming it was the wrong cat, right? Uh-huh. Like... My dad just, so there, somebody else's cat must have gotten hit right at the bottom of our driveway. Oh, so my dad found it and, and went and buried it. <laughs> here's the creepy, here's the creepy part. Here's the creepy part. So uh -huh. my dad made it a grave. You know, my dad's a really, you know, hippie, like sensitive dude. You know, he made it a grave. Like I said, he, he, he cares about animals. So he yeah. went back just to check on it. And he swore to me up and down today, left and right, that the arm of the cat was sticking out of the grave, out of the ground, <sighs> completely sticking out, like in the movie Carrie. Are you serious? I am, he said that to me today, and my skin crawled, and he was, uh, my, he's not like a joke, I mean, he's a jo he jokes sometimes, but he was not joking. So, he was not joking. And 
So your dad buried the wrong cat, which happened not to be dead. I guess, or what happened, that's something we, had, it's for us to figure out because we'll never know. And we're like, again, we were in the middle of nowhere. There was not like, you know, some kids could have been hiking through or, sure. you know, somebody, there was, I mean, unless maybe like a hunter or, I mean, it's just very unlikely that somebody would come across that and dig up its arm and pull wow, it out like that. that's a crazy so, story. So tell me something. What happened with the cat that you thought was dead? He eventually appeared, right? Yeah, he jumped up on the window, and we were all like, oh, oh there he is. And that's God. when my, my mom told me the story like two days afterwards because she didn't want to even tell us. That is you an know, awesome that the story, cat, You know, man. they were... Yeah, I was like, wow. He, The fact that he found that cat's arm stiff as a board sticking out of the ground, I mean, I that is in, that engraved in my head was like, that is something strange, and I don't know how we could ever try to uh, figure out what actually happened there. And the fact that m my dad swore up and down, left and right, that that was our cat. Wow. Dude. Now, again... He, You've got to sit there and go, well, that couldn't have been our cat because it came back. Right. But he swore up and down, left and right. That was the cat. Right. And so and how, long, just, how long after you that know, did you, how long did that cat live with you guys afterwards? You know, I really don't remember, to be honest. That's something I need to ask, but... Uh -huh. oh. um. If it's the cat I'm thinking of, it remained with us for many years. Like it, cool we had song. moved even, and it, you know, it had remained. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was just something that was really, really, um, you know, always thought it was a funny story. Like, oh, he buried the wrong cat. Oh, that's, that's funny. But then when I heard that, I was like, man, that's, that's a little deeper than I thought, <laughs> you know? That is crazy, man. Thank you, thank you for thank you for sharing that story. That was that, that was that was awesome. That's a great story, man. Very cool story. And problem, uh, no problem. Yeah, man. I appreciate. Yeah, that that's a cool story. Um, that's wild, man. That's a that's a great story, actually. So I'm gonna tell my I'm gonna tell my kids that story. Thank you, thank you, and. You know, I, I I didn't get to catch the very beginning of your show, but did you? Were you able to mention? I wrote down some things of the Mandela effect that I off of my head, and like I don't know if maybe you covered them already and I missed it. Uh, no, um, I don't think I have. Uh, I don't think it populated in uh, one second here. Um, no, uh, no, I don't think the I don't think it populated into the into the chat actually. I don't think it came into the chat. Really? Whatever you, yeah, whatever you posted, it it didn't it, 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 it wasn't there. Okay, well, um, I'm very familiar with the Mandela effect. Um, as a matter of fact, that's something that one of the channels I covered, uh, Wake and Saint. That's what his channel is based upon. Okay. And his thing is, yeah, I mean, he 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 does he he does. A lot of Mandela effectors, a lot of different guys, um, Brian Stavely. There's some guys out there that cover it to like a T. Awesome. And I'm, I'm really good friends with one of the guys, but he's more on the spiritual end. So he more covers the that they're they're doing it to the Bible also. So it's not just you know uh, maybe music or movies or or uh, certain figures, it's also the Bible's being changed around and yeah, verses I, are it, being changed. It's and, interesting that you mentioned that because I read something like that about a month ago uh, about a piece of scripture that was that, that, that had been uh, changed. And it struck me because um, I found it very interesting. And now that you remember, yeah, it, it, exactly. I, I heard about that. Like one that you could probably type in or maybe know off the type of your hand is the lion lay with the lamb. Exactly. That's not there. And now, 
Yeah, now it's lion lays with the wolf. Yes. And we, I mean, I, re, I, you can, there's so much residue from that verse because there's, you know, back in the day, there was many people drew pictures of the lion and the lamb together. Right. There's a lot of residue from that one. So there's a lot of proof that they can pull out. And there are certain Bibles that didn't get changed that actually have it that are old, old Bibles. That, so you know, that, that, um, that's something. What do you? Yeah, that that that's a ver that's exactly the verse that I that I actually heard about. It was uh, it, it was the the lion uh, the lion and the lamb. Um, that's exactly. And there's a. Go ahead. Um. Yeah. There. There's other ones too. Like um, when they talk about uh, oh man, there's so many of them. Like they said that would they drink out of bottles of wine they drank bottles of wine and there was never bottles back then it was wine skins it was skin like like skin of wine so they yeah. there was a lot of different little things that they you know so my question is that i pose to you and to who's watching anybody that you know has questions about the mandela effect is you were trying to get you gave many and that's why i didn't want to interrupt what you were saying because you we're hitting different reasons on what it could be, right. what could be causing these things. And I don't know if you had said, mentioned CERN or not. I did. I did men but, mention CERN. But, okay, that's why I said, I didn't know if you mentioned CERN, because they actually did a video, um, like I would say 2017. Okay. And it was like about, it was like a one minute, like a hype type video and it was from CERN. You could probably go on their YouTube page and find it. And in that video, there's a guy that hands up that pull, um, holds up a sign that says Nelson Mandela, Mandela effect Are you in the video. Now, yes. And that was, that was really big for a long time. Oh, wow. Um, so we always wondered like the truth, you know, us, whoever was following that then we you know wondered were they trolling and like or were they actually giving us a clue yeah no that's, you know? that's true sometimes they can i mean i'm sure there's a lot of trolls i would probably troll people uh, as opposed to giving somebody a clue <laughs> but um but no I, yeah th that that's funny that uh that somebody would you know that somebody would do that that's pretty cool um, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Uh, we have to, okay, yeah, there's a guy here that the post about, yeah, a guy in CERN with a, it has a Mandela sign. I mean, I have to look into it more. But, uh, yeah, definitely, you know, that's what people say every time either, like, they turn it off or they turn it on that something gets uh, changed, right? Yeah, yeah, and, like, the movie Sex in the City. Yeah. I, I don't know if you said that one. No, no, no. What, what, what there's you? Sex in the City. It's all right. Cause how do you remember? It? And then I'll tell you what what I know, and then I'll tell you the residue. I, I remember. Uh, what sex, do you remember? I remember sex and the city. The, the you show. remember sex and the city? Yeah. Okay. That I remember is. sex in the city, like S sex in the city, and then it changed to sex and the city. Yeah, I remember it. And uh, I remember and the city because uh, you know and the city like sex and New York basically the city being New York. I, I don't remember a sex in the city. Yeah, I remember sex in the city. So that's kind of <laughs> yeah. now if you listen to Art Bell and I have Art Bell written next to it because I listen, you know, I listen to a lot of the shows you post. Thank you. And you 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 listen to the. You listen to some of the commercials if they pop in, or you listen to them talk about certain movies, maybe, and there's certain things, and the Mandela effect is one of them. He talks about Mandela in 94, and the sex in the city. Um, he mentions sex in the city multiple times. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, um, I, I don't think I've ever yeah, listened to a, that particular episode. Yeah, just keep, and you know, I I need to start marking these stuff when I hear it, because a lot of people want it, want that residue, and not many people 
sit back and listen to 1994 episodes like of Art Bell like I do. I've sure. probably listened to every episode that's been posted. Sure. You know, so I, you know, I'm really, I, I'm really, I'd rather listen to that than George. Yeah, and what's no, on I, nowadays? And yeah, I feel that. that I'm Team Art all the way. Um, what was I gonna tell you? Uh, what trips me well the, the couple of two things one of them there's a guy on youtube on tiktok uh and this guy in tiktok he has his old like verizon phone phone from like 2008 and oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and he'll turn on the he'll turn on the phone uh, with the camera feature and i'll put his finger so you know that it's live and then he'll like zoom over for example like the monopoly guy and with the phone it'll be a certain way and then when he takes the phone away it'll be another way so it's like a basically like that that camera is able to like i don't know instantaneously be able to pull out mandela effects but it's either a good edit whoa he, i didn't hear this yeah no i want to see if i can um yeah, that was. I thought you were talking about the phone that was like there was like an iPhone that was supposedly spotted in the crowd at a at a I think a Mike Tyson fight in like the eighties. Yeah, no, that somebody like, was actually taking a picture. Is you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. No, that wasn't it. it this was about the 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 TikTok guy with the with the Mandela effect. Let me see if I can. I can yeah. Seguir siendo One second. Con el pe that's see. interesting. I I never I never gonna, heard that one. I'm gonna see if I can find them. Uh, then, one second here. It's gonna get loud because I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull up my TikTok. It's gonna no, get a little bit. Huh? Okay. Oh, get this. No, go ahead. Go no, ahead. It's just it's just gonna get it's gonna get a little bit loud, but um, I can hear until I find it. Then I'll post it for people to to see it. Sorry, man. Um, were you talking about JFK? Uh, yeah, because I, I we were talking about I was talking about the fact that sometimes when there's a traumatic event, people can can recollect uh, they recollect facts in a different way. Uh, you know. Well, I know one of the big man Mandela effects is the JFK. Oh, really? Right. And that now there's like two seats taken out, and it's smaller. Give me a. Uh, not the same video. So hang hang on, I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on uh because I found just hold on and uh, hold on in the line, because I'm gonna play this. I wanna play this to to our listeners, um so they can okay. see yeah so they can see this weird stuff here. Let me just uh bring me forward. Here I am. And I'll put it in the video so you guys can check it out. It's trippy, man. Watch. Watch it. So I'm gonna make my try to see get my camera to focus. One second. That looks crappy. So yeah, so this guy would, so for example, wait, let me see if I can find, so the, the, he would post like a video of, um, yeah, because it's really bad. I want to see if I can, give me a second here. I'm going to see if I can, okay, perfect. Give me a second here. I'm going to download a few of these. second buddy okay. so I got a few videos here now I need to um, I'm gonna email them to myself and I'm gonna put them on the on the thing so we can all kind of partake yeah but these are cool like for example like there's one one part of a video that shows uh, you know Shaggy from Scooby-Doo you remember Shaggy from Scooby-Doo yeah, I do. So, I do. do. Do you know if if uh, do do you remember Shaggy as having an Adam's apple or just having like a straight neck? 
I remember having a huge Adam's apple. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember the Adam's apple too much. Okay, let me see. I just sent it out to me. Okay, let me see. Enough of me here. Isn't that wild? That's wild. I, I, I mean, that's what I, I mean, that's what I remember, I think. Now, let me see a picture. I could totally, but I'm just going from what I see in my head right now. I kind of picture like a skinny guy with the Adam's apple and long hair. Right. But that, that could be just what you would picture what somebody that looks like that would have. So I'd have to see it again just to be sure. All right, so let me post the... Okay, I'm gonna post the, the post the video now. I'm gonna play it right now. I don't know we're in a little delay, but one second here. Okay, this is, uh, right. Richard Simmons. Right, so there's So it's kind of looping in the back. I'm going to loop it one more okay. time. It so. keeps ending for me for some reason. There we go. Right now I see Shaq. <laughs> So yeah, so that's that that's mm -hmm. one of the one of the weird like videos that I that I saw and so yeah, then th that's uh what, what were you you were saying other 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 theories about like the Mandela effect? Bef oh yeah, um, I mean, there's all types of different, you know, um, like I said, like the theory is that there was. Somebody from CERN going back, and I know you probably said this, but the theory that I know of is that maybe it's not even, it could be a time traveler, it could be whatever, 
and they're going back and they're changing certain things and it's causing like a oh like the butterfly effect uh what is it butterfly effect yeah it's causing like a butterfly effect and but they're only changing certain little m minor things that would be more that people you know they're it's, that we're at least noticing now i've heard of people like you know go as far as saying that they drove by one day and there's a building that was up and running supposedly for a really long time that wasn't there the day before and that person drives by it every day now whether that's true or not i just i think there's a place in california and you might be able to look this up because it was known big time and there's many, many reports of this place that just popped up out of nowhere. What a and what from a Google, from Google, yeah, it's California. I can't really remember the exact name of it, wow. but it was well known. It was definitely talked about a lot. Um, well, so let's let's do but, this. No, yeah. The, um, um, I can hear. I'm gonna. We, I, I, we're gonna do a quiz. So I'm. I'm gonna put on the quiz right now, and then you and I can do it. Um, let's see. We're gonna do the Mandela effect quiz here together. All right, so we can interact and. Sounds good. Yeah. I was going to ask you while you're looking that up what and it miss might come up in the quiz so I don't want to spoil it but what do you remember for the clean song uh the we are the champion song you know what I'm talking about Yeah no I I yeah what about it Um that no. is also a Mandela effect and, No but what what is uh what what is the effect behind it The effect behind it is at the end of the song, when it goes, we are the champion of the world. Right. It doesn't do that now. No that, way. That, it, it just ends. Yeah, it doesn't do that anymore. That's not part of the song. And, mm. you know, it was really, you know, to, to cause the synchronicity of all that, I was I was talking to about the Mandela effect you know years back with my brother and sister uh -huh. my brother's kind of a skeptic my sister's open right and we were talking about that specific song and we were we were eating inside and that song came on and we were singing it and the end of you know of the world didn't come on and you know it That's everybody good. at the table was just <laughs> flabbergasted my goodness so here we are man we're gonna be uh l let me try to organize this thing because with the delay it kind of throws things off um okay okay here we go so i'm supposed to be a se only a second delay but i think it's like five 15 seconds all right so tell me what you're seeing live because i'm i'm uh i'm a little bit uh, i see uncle sam all right so the question here uh, i don't know why this thing it's okay so uncle sam so the question was um what color uh was uncle sam's hat is it red and white or is it blue and white it's red and white red and white yeah i think i, I think i'm gonna go with red and white too and that's actually wrong you're gonna get the reply right now watch because I'm a little bit delayed with you. And we'll wait for the results together. And yeah, I can picture it in my head. I feel like the blue and white is like Rockies for yeah. some reason. <laughs> Apollo Creed, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. All right, so we'll move on. Now, uh, mm. I, I kind of cheated on this one. But I did it before just to test it, but... Uh, Kit Kat with or without the hyphen? It always had the hyphen. It's, I don't think it does anymore. Yeah, that's what I remember with the hyphen, but uh, they say no, that the hyphen actually, it's not the, the original one. It's not a hyphen. Now, this one this one was trippy because I actually saw um, online posts of actually somebody holding a, a shirt, a Fruit of the Loom shirt with the wrong answer. So... Do you see the fruit of the loom on your? Uh, is the fruit of the loom yet on the live? No, we're still 
I'm still a Kit okay. Kat. I'm still a Kit Kat. But I do know the Fruit of the Loom one. Nice. I'm familiar with this one, I believe. All right. So which now the Fruit Loom, Fruit, Fruit of the Loom is now live. So which Here one? Is. Which one is the logo of Fruit of the Loom that you remember? It's the basket. I remember the basket a thousand percent. Right. But I know it's not the basket. Well, I yeah. remember the basket as well. But you know what? Uh, it's not the basket. But the trippy thing is that somebody posted online an old Fruit of the Loom shirt and it had the basket on. So yeah, it's the residue. Those are all. Yeah, yeah. How about the it's next? Hard to not, it's hard to. It's hard to discredit this when you find all the residue and you yeah. see like someone's been trying to mess with us here. So now you're gonna get. See, uh, I'm, I'm, next I'm, one is. I'm posting. Yeah, I'm posting. So the, the next one is the the, the Target uh, logo. Which one? Um, it needs to go up a little more. All right. I remember the second one. The one with the red dot, right? I think it's now. Yeah, yeah. I remember that one, like, growing up. I don't think that's what it is today, though. I think it's the red For dot. For some reason. It work, yeah, it is the red yeah, dot. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay. It makes more sense to be the red dot. Any now, have you seen the movie uh, Saw? Have you seen I I saw it, but I, I saw it, no pun intended. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, it was yeah. just a long time ago. So I, I haven't seen, uh, I saw portions, so I don't know. I guess, I guess the, the question is whether the, the character says, would you like to play a game? I want to play a game, or do you want to play a game? Uh, I don't know. I always, because this is, no, I I don't remember it enough to be like oh i definitely know this but the last one is what i remember because i do remember like memes and seeing that picture and hearing that so it, it was, i'm not really big into those kind of movies yeah me neither all right so the next one is the frosted flakes uh it will be tony's nose so do you remember tony's nose as being all black or being blue and black Boosh. I um I'm still so it's frosted flakes yeah. and Tony the Tiger right. being all black. No, I don't ever remember him being all black. Yeah, neither do, neither do I. I. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure it was blue. Yeah, we're correct. It's blue. Let's see here. We'll skip that one. Okay, the Monopoly guy. Uh, did yes. He, did he definitely have a, had the moniker. He had the moniker. He, yes. He, he yes, did, right? He had the moniker. He definitely did. I remember. Yes, you had it. He had it. He had it. He definitely yes. had it. Uh, so, yes. And the answer is no. He never had it, man. That's crazy. I remember. Trippy. I remember distinctly. Now, the correct uh, Oscar Mayer yeah. or Oscar May Mayer, uh, this is, a, you know, Oscar Mayer truck, the Oscar Mayer wiener. Uh, this is coming up. How do you remember uh, the correct spelling for this uh, product line? It's going to come up in a little it bit. It was with a J. It was with a J, I remember. Is it Mayer or Meyer? Meyer, it's always been Meyer. Right, yeah, I mean, not Mayer. Never has it been Mayer in my whole life. Has yeah. it been Oscar Mayer? We're good. We're good up to here. And I think that, yeah, I think that concludes our, <laughs> yeah, I think that's our test. But isn't it a trip that, um, so we, we did pretty well. Yeah, we're not, yeah. we're not very, I mean, the uh, one we just didn't know of. Well, the, 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 the monocle is the one that threw me off. Because I, I remember Big the time. Monopoly guy having the monocle. Yeah, I definitely remember that. I definitely remember. And him and the peanut guy. Yeah, they the, both had the monocle. I mean, that... Does the peanut guy not have a monocle now? I don't know. I, I, I would be... I would fall out of my seat right now if if he didn't have the monocle. 
no, yeah, I would he, fall out of my seat. Yeah, he does. He does. He still has it. I'm not. He always had it, of course. I remember him. Oh, that was the, maybe you know maybe we could have uh, since since they both have top hats. Remember, maybe we, we could have put on the monocle on the Monopoly guy because they kind of look. I mean, they don't look similar, but you know they kind of have like the same style of dressing. You know. Yeah, with the top hat. Yeah, maybe that's why. Cane. Maybe that's why we assigned the monocle to the Monopoly dude. That it very well could be, but I can picture the board game with him and his monocle looking down on the board game. I can picture it <laughs> in my head right now. I can. That's a trip. It's clear as day. I can, right. I can see it. You know. So, so here's something with the with the Mandelfic. Um, Meg Ryan. This is this is this is. I don't know if you brought this up. Uh, the affiliation of Tom Hanks and remember the movie. Uh, first off, uh, Sleepless in this Seattle. Kind of goes. No Forrest Gump. Yo. When he's sitting on the when he's sitting on the, and he says, "What does he say to that lady about the chocolate?" You remember? Life is like a box of chocolates. Life is like a box yeah, of chocolates. Yeah, you never know what. You, yeah, you never know what you're gonna get, or something. You never know what you're gonna get. To it. Yeah. yeah, now look, look what it says now. It's like life's a box of chocolates. You never know. Or it, it's not it's not what we just said. It it's completely been changed. Really? Um same with the Star Yeah, same with the Star Wars. We both remember and I don't even watch Star Wars, but it's such a famous line that there's a lot of residue is you know, the Luke, I am your what? I am your father. Luke, I am your Yes, but in the movie, it says, now, it says, no, I am your father. There's no Luke, I am your father. It does not exist. It never happened. Oh, wow, man. It never happened. That, is... that never happened. So, <laughs> that's not so trippy, because I, I, according, and they, there's even videos of the guy who does it. What's his name? The, uh, the guy who does that voice, um... Or does that character, uh, what's his name, the black guy? Uh, oh, Morgan Freeman? Either way, there's videos of him. Not Morgan Freeman. Um, gosh, who? I can't remember his name at the moment, but he, who, who played, what's his name? Either way, he, whoever does that voice has gone on to many shows and have, has redone that same line many oh, times oh you're talking about uh, so, you mean the bo the voice of darth uh the voice of darth vader right vader yeah um, yeah yeah like er james earl, earl jones or something? james earl jones yeah that's it yeah. that's it yeah that's another one so so i bring up tom hanks because if you look into it like Forrest Gump is one of them. There's other Tom Hanks movies. I'm not, I think, I know there's a list of Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan movies that have been Mandela affected. Now, there's pictures and actual, like, I want to say like a little doc, you know, maybe video of them taking trips to CERN, which is, you know, not within itself, but come to find out that Meg Ryan's brother works at CERN. Really, and it just so happened that a lot of these movies that Tom it, that were Mandela affected, Tom Hanks is involved in, and he takes trips to CERN. I mean, there's videos of him going to CERN. That's some crazy stuff. And so, man. yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you know. There's just a lot of things that we could all say it's a coincidence, and everybody could say coincidental, coincidental. Or we could go, man, there's something going on here. Yeah. I don't know what, you know. But what we just did, our test, I think that proves that there's something strange going out there. Because we just went through a whole list of things. You're in California. I'm in Ohio. We both saw the same thing for the most part. And we were wrong on every single one. Yeah, that's a trip, isn't it? Yeah, that's where it makes your brain just explode. Like, how is, you know, this is really going on. Exactly. And it's, some it's weird odd. way or another. It's very odd, man. Absolutely. All right, my friend. Well, Absolutely. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a night. Uh, 
Thank, oh, I really appreciate you calling, man. I it, it, it takes it's good to kind of have two people um, on the show. I think so. It makes it uh, for me. It makes it easier and it makes it fun to do like a co co-host type deal. Yeah, man. I can call in more often, man. I'm wa I watch and listen. I just don't want to like bother your show and call in, you know, too much or something. But I always have stuff to talk about, so I can call in more often if I see. Because I understand. I I hate going live alone. It's always nice to have um, someone with you to to call, you know, to to do it. So yeah. I, I I agree with that. So I'll. Ch I'll check in more often if you want. You know, I, I'll check in more often. And I, I mean, I'm there though. Just know that I'm listening. I appreciate if I'm not, him. Thank I'm listening you. though. I'm listening to you. I appreciate yes, you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So. All right, brother. Well, have a have a well, good you weekend. You have a good night. Have a good weekend. God bless you. Thanks. You thanks for sharing, have brother. Have a good one. Talk to you Monday. Okay, my friend. Take care. All right, brother. Peace. Bye bye. Peace. Peace. All right, guys, spend some great time with Tim. You know it works. I like uh, I like the the co-hosting. It takes a uh, it takes a lot of the 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 edge off of uh, me. Just kind of not the edge. It takes a lot of the st uh, not stress either, but it, it just makes it more enjoyable for me as a host to have somebody, uh, especially somebody who kind of has you know have the same uh, interest as I imagine all the listeners to the show have. Otherwise, you wouldn't be listening. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, I've been getting a lot of good uh, re-listens to the show. Actually, there's there's more people re-listening to the show than, than joining us when it's live. I don't know if it has to do anything in regards to maybe the time or just uh, people actually doing things uh, on a Friday. Who would do things on a Friday, right? Who would actually do something on seven <laughs> at 7 or 8 o'clock Pacific time on a Saturday, on a Friday? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I said I probably wouldn't do this on the weekend, but if I get bored tomorrow, uh, I'll probably uh, come in and, and, and do some um, do some stuff online. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for all of you guys who joined. Uh, keep spreading the word. Keep sharing the show so we can grow. And uh, don't be shy. Uh, you can always call. And um, I'd love to have, you know, more stories here. The, the Tim's story about the cat was awesome. I gotta go tell my kids that story. That's a great story. I appreciate everyone who joined today and commented. Uh, JD has always been a faithful listener. Joe Alvarado, John Alvarado, always been here too. Appreciate him. Uh, Joey, ba Joey Bag of Donuts, thank you. Uh, Tim, as always, thank you. And we're missing our our nocturnal um, genie bottle from from England. I'll give her a shout out. I, I know she's not. Uh, She's not online right now, but she's our night owl from England. Um, so thank you again for listening to the show. God bless you guys. Have a great, wonderful weekend. You may catch me here tomorrow to discuss more fun 